I'm Diane Rogers and I want to show you one of my favorites, all-time favorites. When I was a little girl, we had someone that used to cook grits for us all the time. I loved them. Tina was from the South. Can't say my sister was wild about them. And now, oh, Chloe wants them. And then, since our family's Italian, we go visit my uncles who used to make polenta. So it's basically the same thing, white cornmeal, yellow cornmeal, whatever. So we're going to make some polenta. Now, what I have, because I want this flavor, because I'm going to serve this on the side of some chicken marsala, I have, I'm using uh, chicken stock as the base because it's going to add quite a bit more flavor. So what I have is some boiling chicken stock. Now here's the trick to this. You must pour this uh, cornmeal in slowly and whisk it and a little more and whisk it, and a little more and whisk it. If you pour this in all in, at one time, you will end up with so many lumps, you're never gonna get it out, and there's no immersion blender that's gonna take it out. So just a little bit at a time, nice thin stream. The basic proportions are, for a firm polenta, say if you wanted to chill this up cut it in squares and then put it under the broiler before you serve it would be four cups of liquid, milk works really well too, to one cup of cornmeal. If you want a looser, uh, more creamy, shall we say, polenta, then what that proportion is five cups to one. It's a little deceiving at first and it does take some time to cook, but as long as you get it in the pan right the first time, then the rest of the cook process is easy. You can sort of walk away from it, but you do need to keep stirring it so it doesn't stick. So I have, what I'm doing is actually four and a half cups because I'm hitting the happy medium because I am gonna serve this after. Um, we're making it in advance. So I have four and a half cups of the chicken stock to one cup of yellow cornmeal. And this is a medium grind, a nice fine grind works really well too. And then, we are going to keep this stirred up. I'm gonna turn the heat down to just barely a simmer. And you wanna use a whisk because that is going to help keep this nice and smooth. And if you do get a few lumps, just keep whisking away. And there you have it. So it's a nice slow cook, about a half hour, that should do it. Then what we're going to do is put a bunch of butter in it because you need butter, it's just great. And then Parmesan Reggiano. I'm going to make this in advance and then warm this in the oven, in a 400 oven, and that will be the base for our chicken marsala, our starch of the side. So we'll let this cook for a while and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. It's really good. So now let's finish the polenta. This cooked thoroughly, this is great, it's still nice and hot. So what I want to do is add a little bit of butter to this and then we'll dot it with some Parmesan. But first I wanna make sure that the pan is ready. So into this oven proof pan so that we can bake it, I am spreading this with butter. I don't wanna use, as I call it, fat in a can, you know, the spray fat, because I want the flavor of the butter for sure. And the fat in the can, as much as that's good for some things, it is not really good for this. So, we're gonna butter the inside of this pan and butter it well, because it just makes cleanup a lot easier. Then, what we're going to do is add quite a bit of butter to the polenta, and I'm gonna stir this in, whoops. Time. Actually, I'm going to whisk it in. Chloe's saying she wants some polenta bad. So we're whisking this butter into the polenta. This is going to be really good. And you know what else I'm going to do also is add, because I did not salt the water, I'm going to add a couple pinches of salt to that. And then Whisk this until the butter melts all the way. And then we are going to 
See, this is nice and smooth and creamy. Oh, this is comfort food at its best. This is gonna be wonderful with the um, Marsala sauce. This is gonna go into my oven proof baked dish. Is smooth out the top of this. So if you wanted to do this in advance, which is easy to do, take it this far, chill it, and then it'll go into a 400 oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I would dot it with the butter just before you put it in the oven. However, or you could take this and flip it out after it's chilled and then cut it in nice squares and then you could uh, triangle it. But anyway, this is gonna go in the oven tonight for my guests. And I'm gonna dot some butter over the top of this. Seems like a lot of butter, but you know what? For eight people, I really didn't use all that much. But we'll take some nice chunks of this Parmesan, Reggiano. You could use Padana too, Grana Padana. That's a nice cheese to use on this. All right, and then to a 400 degree oven, it's gonna puff up nicely, and that will be served on the side of our chicken. Okay, we're here with dinner. It's time to eat for sure, definitely. <laughs> but we sure are having fun. Anyway, I made some polenta with some Parmesan Reggiano on top, the chicken marsala. I made a salad with port wine vinegar and some extra virgin olive oil. That should be good, some garlic, it's wonderful. Little extra sauce and some green beans and sweet peppers with garlic. So this should be a pretty good dinner. And then we'll come back after this course and have some creme brulee. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye